we are using variety of power sources to generate electricity we are using renewable energy sources and non renewable energy sources as renewable energy sources we are using solar energy and wind water to generate electricity and also as non renewable energy sources we are using uh, fossil fuels like oil coal natural gas and also biomass and nuclear power to generate electricity after the generation we have transmit the electricity to grid substations and then it distributes them among houses and industries for this transmission we are usually use overhead transmission lines to carry electricity and also we are using underground cable systems where we can't apply overhead lines for now we have two underground cable systems in sri lanka in colombo area and kandy city areas and also there is a ongoing project uh, installing an underground cable system in goa most of the countries applying these uh, underground cable systems especially in urban areas there are several advantages and also disadvantages in underground systems compared with overhead line systems uh, if you first consider the advantages uh, these underground systems are more safer than overhead lines considering the public safety and also its voltage drop is lower due to low inductance um, and also no damages due to lightning because it's under the ground and also no interferences to communication circuits also now we consider the disadvantages of these systems uh its initial cost is somewhat higher than overhead line system and also working voltage is comparatively lower due to installation difficulties and less flexible frequency is low and also as a main disadvantages of underground cable systems uh we are difficult to find the fault location in this system actually underground cables are prone to a wide variety of faults due to underground conditions wear and tear and rodents etc uh instead of digging soil along the line and finding faults if we could know the fault location and then repair that area only it will be more economical and reliable so the aim of this project is to determine the approximate distance to the fault location on underground cable from the base station in kilometers what i have made is a prototype and it represents an arduino based system which can detect the line ground fault location in the underground three phase transmission line system it displays the distance to the fault location from the base station ohm's law is used as the basic principle of finding the fault location in this system there are some considerable resistance values on underground cables therefore here it has been represented by resistors which show the resistance per kilometers low dc voltage is applied at the feeder end to a resistor as we know current is varying upon the fault location and according to that feed and voltage is also vary by measuring that voltage value and fed it to an adc to precise digital data and then map it into the relevant distance value distance to the fault location is shown in kilometers on the lcd and also flame fault is also detected by the flame sensor GSM is used to send a SMS to the operation unit when faults are occurring in the system then they can reach the fault location as soon as possible so this is the basic idea of this project um uh, now we look at into the objectives um we are talking about how useful these systems and what are the advantages from this system for for the underground cable network we can reduce response time and money needed to rectify 
and also increase in productivity of technical crews since the time needed to find the fault location will be minimized because we are automatically uh, displaying them the fault location in kilometers and we can ensure stability and reliability of power supply system in the country to boost economic growth and also save inexpensive transformers from damage or theft which usually occurs during long power outages these are the uh, some advantages of uh, applying this system to the underground network now let's consider about the block diagram a 230 volt AC supply is applied to the transformer from where it is stepped down to 12 volt AC and the alternating current gets converted into direct current when it passes through a bridge wave rectifier. The 12 volt DC then goes to the voltage regulator where it gets converted from 12 volt DC to 5 volt DC. This 5 volt DC is used to supply power to the Arduino that is given from the voltage regulator. Then other components are also powered by the Arduino. As supply needed for the relay is higher than that of the Arduino, relay driver is used to boost the supply and provide it to the relays. I have used supply voltage to the feeder as 5 volt since it's easy to supply it from Arduino. Now let's look at the components that I have been used in this project. Arduino Uno board, 5 volt DC 3 relay modules, 16 by 2 yellow backlight LCD and I2C, mini SIM 800L GSM module, flame detector, 3 volt mini buser, resistors, and switches. You can see the Proteus design for this system. Uh, actually here I have not uh, included the GSM and flame sensor to this Proteus design but I am using that for implementing this project. I will show you that later. Mm. As I said previously I am using LCD, Arduino and I2C LEDs and resistor network and also relays and relay driver as components in this design. Um, I'm using I2C because then I can connect LCD and Arduino uh, from only 4 pins otherwise I have to use more than 8 pins. And as I said previously I'm using a motor driver to the boost voltage supply to relays. Mm, here I'm using uh, LEDs, three red LEDs for each phase for fault indication. Mm. By blinking this red LED, it indicates there is a fault on a relevant phase. Likewise, there are three relays. Each relay is connected to the each phase. One relay is to one phase, other one is to other phase. Uh, likewise, and you can show, you can see in the below. Uh, there is a feeder end I have supplied it to 5 volt DC supply and when feeder end uh, touches the ground wire uh, which one represent as the below line as you can see in the feeder end uh, there is a node uh, that is the voltage of the feeder end uh, which we are gives to the Arduino as analog signal uh, it's used to the calculate the fault location in kilometers from the base station. As I have said previously, I'm using resistors to indicate ground cables. To induce faults manually in this kit, fault switches are used. About 12 fault switches are used, which are arranged in three rows, which each row having four switches. As you can see, these each switches are connected to the relevant line and at the end is to the ground so we are induced faults uh, between line and ground
now let's move into the calculation part uh, here as shown in the screen n is represented the number of uh, 100 ohm resistors on the line from forward location to the feed end actually here uh, the number of resistors uh, on the current path then we can easily calculate the feed end voltage V0 as shown in here mm -hmm. and V0 1024 bits are represented by each analog pin in the Arduino board uh, therefore A0 is uh, 124 over 5 into V0 then uh, according to the n values 2, 4, 6 and 8 we can calculate the A0 value by considering the display space of LCD I have decided to map these values into 1 to 4 kilometers distances since resistor values are considered as 100 ohm per kilometer so we can get the approximate distance as integers by a0 divided by 10 now let us consider about the how to make this system as a real system um, here as you can see i have made the uh, underground cables using 100 ohm resistors um, you can easily make this system using uh, resistors and switches uh, as I have shown in the Proteus design previously. This is how I connected these switches and resistors. I have soldered those um, and you can also solder it and make it neat. Then I have uh, drawn these each resistor lines to the relevant relay. Here I am using 5 volt relay and uh, because of that um, I'm not using relay driver to boost up voltages uh, since I am using 5 volt relay I can easily power up it um, Arduino Uno board the each common uh, pins of these relays are grounded and and you can see here I'm using LEDs and buses as previously said to indicate false and also here LCD and I2C um, connect it as shown in the screen and also GSM module to send SMS um, these are the connections uh, you should drone GSM2 and Arduino and also you have to use a depot battery to power up the GSM module because we have to uh, use input voltage as to the GSM module uh, between 3.3 to 4.4 this is the flame sensor it's used to detect flame occurring in the underground uh, system and connect it like this to the Arduino board
this is my arduino code and i'm not going to uh, explain this now um since i'm not using here much deep function and i will provide you this arduino code and proteus design um and the circuit diagram in the description you can download it and uh, make your own project considering the limitations of my design i have designed my system for low voltages actually i powered up the arduino from the laptop since i didn't design system for the ac supply as shown in the block diagram uh, and 5 volt relays are applied to the system then i don't want to relay driver these are the limitations so this is the end of the video i hope you have enjoyed my video and share this uh, video among your friends to share this knowledge mm. and finally if you like to this video please hit a like button uh, and also subscribe to my channel thank you very much